Yo, what is going on, everyone? My name is Nick, or the Notorious Fantasy, and in today's video, we are going to be breaking down some NFL breaking news. AJ Green is expected to sign a one-year deal worth up to $8.5 million, including $6 million guaranteed with the Arizona Cardinals per source, according to Adam Schefter. Now, a lot of people are going to make a big kerfuffle about this and talk about how they got A.J. Green, how they have J.J. Watt, how this is a loaded team. Now, I think their team is very good in Arizona, and I think A.J. Green is an all-right option, but A.J. Green is not the A.J. Green of 2015 or 2014, back in the day when he was very good. Now, this is not to discredit A.J. Green's career as a whole because personally he's one of the better wide receivers I have ever seen now again I'm only 21 years old so I never watched all these guys in their primes I've only seen guys like fucking Megatron who were insane things like that but AJ Green frankly one of the better guys I've seen a very good player but he is not that guy anymore he's not the dude that he was in the past a lot of people are going to severely overhype this addition to me it's just a step up from a guy like Andy Isabella, a step up from a guy like Christian Kirk. I'm sure A.J. Green still has some juice in him, and he still could have a pretty decent season. But if we're talking about fantasy football, if we're talking, yeah, mostly about fantasy football, he's just not a guy that I am going to be targeting really at all. He has been injury prone in the past. He constantly gets hurt, and this just is going to cause a lot of chatter of people getting ready to suck this guy off and get ready to draft him in like the eighth round of leagues. To me, it's not even worth it. If I'm drafting anyone on the Cardinals, it's going to be D-Hop or it's going to be Kyler Murray or a running back if they bring one in. I'm not looking at all at A.J. Green. This is a right move by the Cardinals by bringing in a veteran presence along with, obviously, Larry Fitzgerald, who has been there for a long time, but another wide receiver to help out. He's a fine player. He's the nice wide receiver, too, for your team. But in my opinion, he is just not the same guy he used to be, so I'm really not targeting this guy at all in fantasy football. I know there's going to be people with their opinion that now that A.J. Green is off the Bengals, he is in for a shot directly to the moon, to Jupiter when it comes to fantasy value. I just don't see it. I really do not. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about AJ Green signing with the Arizona Cardinals. Am I maybe judging him a little too hard or am I spot on? Because a lot of people have fallen into the AJ Green trap in fantasy football for the last like two years. And for the past two years, I've been telling you guys not to draft him. So if you guys did end up enjoying this breakdown, I know it's a little bit short, but I try to get out my immediate reaction. There should be a video tomorrow morning with my full reaction to all of the today's new additions to free agency the guys that end up getting signed let's hope will fuller kenny galladay and all the fun wide receivers get signed soon because uh, it's getting tiring seeing all these uh not so hot wide receivers getting signed here so thank you guys all for watching i love you guys all have a great rest of your wednesday good boy